Hi, and welcome back. In this video, I want to talk through a situation where a lot of companies today, and you see this very often, where you can get gift cards or gift certificates. And when you buy a gift card, it's not a revenue generating event at the time you buy one. And so I want to walk through the whole process of how companies account for these gift cards and the reasons why we have to make these adjustments. So let's get started. Hi, and welcome back. Today in this video, we're going to talk through unearned revenue and go through an example of how this is applied in a company. Unearned revenue is that account that is used when a customer of ours comes in and purchases a gift certificate or a gift card. So when we when a customer actually buys that gift certificate or the gift card, no product or service has actually been sold to the customer yet. So the gift certificate or the gift card is represents a promise to provide a service or a product in the future at some point. It could be a few weeks down the road, it could be months down the road, who knows. Here's our example. So we own a music store. We sell a customer a Christmas gift certificate for $500. So what is our journal entry for this? Let's walk through the thinking process. Our a financial event has absolutely taken place. What accounts do we use? We will use unearned revenue and cash. Do we have more or less of unearned revenue? We have more. And do we have more or less of cash? We have more. So let's check our journal entry that we're going to make with T accounts. For cash, cash is a normal balance of a debit. And if we have more of that, then we need to debit it. So we will debit our cash account for $500. Our unearned revenue is a liability, and a normal balance of a liability is a credit. So therefore, to increase liabilities, we have to credit that account. So yay, we have an equal amount of debit and an equal amount of credit. So yay, our journal entry balances. Let's go a bit further with this. Two weeks later, the recipient of the gift certificate is in your store to purchase product and the customer uses the gift certificate for $510 worth of product. So yes, a financial event has taken place for our business. What accounts do we use? We will use three, ooh, uh, here's a new thing. We will use unearned revenue, we will use revenue, and we will use cash. Do we have more or less of unearned revenue? We have less. Do we have more or less of revenue? We have more. And do we have more or less of cash? We have a little bit more. So let's check our logic here with a journal entry using T accounts. So now you see that original $500 credit that was in unearned revenue. Since we have less of unearned revenue, then we want to debit that account because, hey, we want to get rid of that liability. So a debit of $500 to unearned revenue. At the same time, we have $510 more of revenue. So revenue, since it's a normal balance of a credit, to increase it, we credit it. So that's a credit of $510. Plus, now we have more cash, too. So to balance everything out, we will have $10 more cash. So we would debit cash, because it has a normal balance of a debit, with 10 more dollars. So our debit to unearned revenue plus our debit to cash is $510, and that offsets our $510 in the revenue account. So yay, it balances. We're always very happy about that as accountants. So here's our recap. A gift card or a gift certificate is a promise to provide a sale in the future. Thus, at the time the gift card is sold or the gift certificate is sold, it cannot be recorded as revenue. The company gets the use of the cash immediately. Thus, this is why it's a very popular offering that companies use today. And with that, that ends our 
conversation about unearned revenue, and we will move on to another topic. Thanks so much for your attention. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.